Well, what's going on, y'all? This is my last and final BTR internet radio show. I just wanted to come on and give thanks to everybody that supported the Woodgrain show, supported the videos and things like that. I want to let y'all know that uh, I am officially retired from YouTube as well as BTR. Um, social media is a monster. Social media is something that uh, it, it can fuck with your real life. Um, as you saw what happened with the young lady years ago that died off of social media. She died from a crazy nut. A stalker that killed off somebody else's uh, message or what they perceived to be the right thing to do at the time. And um, social media can sometimes come back and bite you. And um, I had people stalk me. I had people pretty much affect my real life when it came to social media by getting me to lose a job. From sending videos to the painting different pictures, things of that nature, and um, it's a beast and, and it's real. So, any advice that I can give anybody out there, I would tell y'all: if you're on social media, don't show your face. Don't give your don't show your face. Don't have your real stuff out there because it will come back to bite you. Real talk. So I want to give a shout out to everybody that supported, you know, the wood grain, everybody. Um, I know a lot of people will probably download this um, recording. And, you know, I didn't really promote it because I don't have a YouTube channel no more. But um, people that sub to the blog talk will get it, spread it around. But, you know, shout out to, you know, Lamont Jones, um, Alessandri, uh, let's see, it's so many, man, Tyson Woodgrain, whole Woodgrain team, um, everybody from London, um, everybody that showed love and support, my man Morpheus, everybody, you know, um, shout out to all y'all, man, you know what I mean? Um, all I can tell y'all is this. Take it for what it is. Don't get sucked up like I got sucked up. I got sucked up into a lot of uh, bullshit. And in that process, I ran across a lot of people that are, that wasn't well in the head. And when you run across people that are, are not well in the head, sometimes it affects you. That's just the game. You win some, you lose some. But, you know, um, I want everybody to know what it is. Um, Social media is a monster, and it will fuck your life up if you let it. So, um, what else I wanted to say? Pretty much anybody that's listening to this and you in the roast arena... And you want to be an up-and-coming roaster, I'll tell you this. Lock your Facebooks up. Don't have your face out there. Don't have none of your personal business out there because you will have professional trolls that will will use that against you. That's just what it is. So, um, I know a lot of people... Like, damn, you know, they're going to miss some of my comedy. They're going to miss my roast. They're going to miss a lot. But when it affects your real life, it's time to leave it alone. It's time to step back and say, you know what? This ain't worth all that. Um, you know, I might have to eat cups of noodles and sleep in my car for this Christmas. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Social media is a monster, y'all. It can, it can mess with your life if you let it. And I let it. You know, it's something that I honestly did. But y'all can also 
learn from my mistakes and my, and my fuck ups, and learn how to uh, pretty much not let this social media consume you. Because um, it will, it definitely will. Real talk, I'm, I'm not gonna be honest with y'all. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, I know some people might still be at odd or not wondering, you know, wondering what's going on, you know. Um, I'm not going to really go into it too deep. I'm just going to say that I had a lot of people that have disliked towards me, my family, and they wanted to see me lose the job, and they made that happen. That's pretty much what happened. Um, those individuals... Those individuals that pulled off that uh, that YouTube, um, I guess as the trolls would say, they would say something like uh, YouTube classic or, you know, whatever. Um, it is what it is. Um, like I said on the last broadcast I did that I'm pretty sure people downloaded. I'm not sure if they did or not, but I'm pretty sure y'all y'all did. Um comes around, goes around, you know. And you know, um anybody that know me, they know that something like that I'm not gonna let slide. But I got served up a big ass piece of humble pie, goddammit. Good piece of humble pie. It was cold too. Cold piece of humble pie. So, I might have to sell my BMW. Might got to sell my wedding ring. Might have to... Uh, I don't know. I might have to go sell waters or hot chocolate out here on the corner to make ends meet because um, these people really messed my Christmas up. I mean, I'm... I might have to go steal a Christmas tree just to have a Christmas. I, I don't know what's going to go on. <sighs> just, just trying to hold it together. Just, you know, bear with me here. Uh, hold on a second. You finished eating, boo? You all done? All right, go brush your teeth. Yeah, so... Um... Oh, oh, you want to open that? Okay. You want to use your new toothbrush, huh? Uh, you can use that. Yeah, I'm just hoping to keep the lights on and just um, scrape by. You know, we might have to have some um, spam sandwiches for quite some time to save money because um, I don't know what's going to go on, what's going to happen. But, um,. Just want to say um, to anybody on here that's a roaster or you thinking about getting in this arena, just, just protect your family because when you have kids or a spouse or you have responsibilities and people get you to lose your employment, then not only do you suffer, your children suffer, and you, you know everybody makes they um, have to suffer in this. See, you know. You know, I got to look my daughter, my youngest daughter in her face and tell her. She said, well, Daddy, why are you not going to work today? I, I say, I can't tell her because of YouTube trolls. I just got to say, well, I'm off today. I got I to gotta keep lying to her until she realizes. She's going to say, Daddy, um, well, you normally pick me up a certain time, and you've been you've been home lately. What's going on? You know, kids are, kids are very smart. But... Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, uh, I want y'all to, um, just remember the, uh, good times we had on YouTube and the, um, all, all the good times we had. You know, we had some good times at times and things got, um, Things got crazy. Things got crazy. Ain't like it used to be. So, 
Uh, we had some fun, y'all. Um, hopefully, y'all got a lot of my videos downloaded so y'all can enjoy some of the comedy we had and some of the um, the beautiful roast skits that we provided. Do our thing, you know. All that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what else I wanted to say? Um, yeah, like I said, to everybody that was involved that, you know, um, called my place of employment and they sent emails to slander me and, and get me to lose my job, just know that y'all had y'all laughing right now, and that's cool. I want y'all to chuckle that shit up. Y'all laughing, and just know that, just know that um, it's going to come back to you. Just know that. Each and, that, each and every one of you is going to come back on you hard. So... I want y'all to, to really know that and know what's going on. Real talk. Because um, you can't do people dirty like that in real life. See, there's one thing on the Internet when you roast people and y'all go back and forth, talk about each other's mamas, girlfriends, spouse, yada, yada. You know, that's one thing when you do that. When you mess with a person's real life and you tap into their real situation and knowing that they have a family, that's opening up a new can of worms. You know? You're messing with a person's livelihood, whether they have different sources of income or not. You don't mess with it's one thing it's certain things you don't do in in this world. You don't mess with a person's Kids, they money, and they pussy. You don't do in a man's car. Four. You don't mess with a man's car. You don't mess with a man when he watches the football, basketball game. Leave him the fuck alone. Other than that, those are things you're not supposed to do. And y'all individuals, y'all did that. So, you know, I hope that y'all happy. I hope that y'all jumping for joy. Y'all got what y'all wanted. I mean, think about it. Y'all got what y'all wanted. Y'all goal was to get me off of YouTube. It worked. I'm gone. My channels are shut down. I'm done. I'm retired. Y'all will never see me on YouTube again. Never. Um, I will never go back to YouTube, especially what happened to me. Nah. But I learned from it, though. And I'm going to tell y'all... Um, Anybody that's doing YouTube and you have a job and if you have something that's a little racy on there or you have certain comedy or stuff like that or roast videos, I recommend you take them down because if someone gets a hold of your job and they paint you out to be a monster or a a um, a bad person, um, certain employers will use that against you. Because they feel like if you're doing stuff like that, how can you work for their company? That's how they that's how they view you. So, I mean, it's stereo, it's, stereo, it's kind of stereotyping in a way, but that's just how the world is. Everybody has their rules, how they operate their business, and you know you can't um, you can't knock it. It is what it is. Um, I chose to make those hardcore roast videos, you know, in retaliation. People mess with me, I mess with them back, but you know. It came back to bite me in the ass big time. So all the people that's laughing and having fun with it, enjoy it. Enjoy. I deserve it. So I want y'all to, to laugh and and, and y'all got me. Y'all got me. I want y'all to laugh, have good time. I mean I mean chuckle that shit up. I mean I want y'all to be rolling around like we got Monty, we 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 got a job to fire him, yes. But remember, you reap what you sow. I want y'all to remember that, though. Because maybe this was my karma. See, that, see, one thing about me, I can deal with things. It, it, am I salty that 
Y'all took my job? Yeah, I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Am I gonna be fucked up? No. <laughs> uh, sorry to tell y'all that, but... <laughs> Let me keep this shit real. No matter what, ain't nobody putting a dent in my program. What's that thing? Let me say, bring it here. Why oh, you got both bags in here? Hey, you get you get one, and that's it. Because it's school night, I don't want you to have too much candy. I need a candy bag. Huh? I need a candy bag. All right, we'll put hey, put those right there. All right, go back upstairs. You had that one. Did you brush it off? You brush your teeth? Uh-huh. All right. So, like I was saying, um, oh yeah, I'm gonna be all right regardless, y'all. So, to the people that really support me and care about me, trust me, I'll I'll be all right. <laughs> trust me. Christmas is gonna be great. Shit, I'm about to buy me a hoverboard for my damn self. I want one of them things. I'm like a big kid. For some reason, I want a hoverboard. I don't know why. I just want a hoverboard. I'm, I'm going to give me one for Christmas. And, um, yeah, I want one. I probably like a blue or red one with the LED lights on it. I might cop one of those and get some other stuff or whatever. Yeah, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I'm getting ready for this Thanksgiving. I'm going to make a nice meal for the family, do my thing. But... Um, yeah, I'm, you know, some of y'all guys want to miss y'all on YouTube, but it, it was time to go. When you have people stalk you to the point where they calling your job and trying to um, make you miserable, it's time to roll. It's time to roll. It's time to let it go. Um, y'all can have it. The L.A.s, the Kevins, the, 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 uh, the uh, Monkey Mills, um, all of y'all, uh, Cliff, all of y'all, y'all can have it. Y'all got it. Make all the videos. I'm not going to see them because I'm not on YouTube. So make all the videos, laugh, joke, all that good shit. Remember, I'm I'm going to give y'all a quote or something. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm almost like Tupac in a way. I like, I like to drop clues and hints and shit, you know, just to, just, just to see how sharp y'all guys are. Jimmy, if you hear this, if you hear this broadcast, I want you to uh, remember what you remember the nickname you gave me, Jimmy. I want you to remember the nickname you gave me a while ago. If you can remember that nickname you gave me, then you'll figure it out. That's all I'm gonna say. So shout out to the um, everybody that was showing love. Um, you know, my number one stalker. You won. You won. You, you you the man. You won. You got me off of YouTube. You won. Um, yeah, y'all went to some y'all went to some extreme ways to do it though. I get y'all. I mean y'all y'all. You know y'all. You know, I wish my job would have saw it. Would have saw that. You know y'all set me up, but um, it is what it is. They did what they had to do. I'm not mad at them. They did what they had to do. Life goes on. I you know, if God want me to find another job. And not live in the back of my BMW, then that's what it's going to be. If not, I'm, I'm prepared to live in the back of my BMW and and do that. Eat spam sandwiches, eat pork and beans. So, um, but back to the subject at hand. This, this is going to be a short broadcast because I'm, I'm broke now. I don't have no money, so I can't do um, um, long BTRs. So I'm going to do hour long BTR. I don't have enough money. Uh, they got me fired at my job, so I don't have enough money to, um, you know, I can't spare the forty bucks anymore. So I'm reduced to doing thirty minute, thirty forty. You know, my last broadcast is only going to be an hour. So if I even last that long, because I'm, you know, I keep pausing, I'm wiping tears away or whatever. I just can't believe that this happened to me. You know, I just I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, y'all. But um, I want to give um, I want to give some people some advice. 
Um, I want to give L.A. some advice first. L.A. I'm pretty sure you're making videos. I'm, I'm not sure. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure you're making videos, clowning, doing, you know, doing what you do. You know, celebrating that they got me fired. Remember one thing. You have kids also. And when you have kids and you're the man in the home and and you have to provide for your children and someone takes that away just because they want to be spiteful, think about that. Now, to the people um, that call my place of employment with the edited videos and to paint the picture like I was just this monster where I'm, well, no, which I'm not, but whatever. Um, one day you're going to sit back and you're going to think about this last broadcast that I'm doing. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Karma. It's something called ghetto karma. You ever heard of ghetto karma? It's different type of karma. You have regular karma. You have you reap what you sow type things. And you have something called ghetto karma. To everyone that done that, ghetto karma will be back with you. Guaranteed. Um, as far as me shutting my YouTube channel down, I actually did that before. I think a day before y'all started calling my place of employment. I was just, I was just tired of it. I just say, you know what? I'm gonna give the people what they want. They want me off YouTube. Let me see. I never, um, let me see, I never hurt nobody. Um, hold on, I just thought about something here. We have people on, we have people on the internet that, in our sector, that's racist. We have people that, um, that are really racist towards us. We have a lot of people that are pedophiles on the internet, a lot of people that are doing a lot of crazy stuff. But we don't see these so-called trolls going after these people to get them taken down or to get them fired from their job. I mean, people that are pedophiles, people that are racist, people that are that look at black people like they're like we ain't shit. It's, it's amazing, though, how you see black people will plot and scheme to do things to other black people. And then when other races look down on us and say, you know what, y'all not shit. And then the funny part about it is you have some people that say they're Christians, people that are they, they are in the church. But they condone and support people getting me fired from my place of employment. Wow. That's the godly way I guess, to get to get a person to to, to take to take food out of his out of my kid's mouth. It's the godly way. Wow. Wow. Well, sometimes when you get caught slipping, when you get caught slipping, when you get played, everybody been played before. You, whatever you got played by, a female, a dude, whatever. I got played. I got played by trolls. I mean, I I got played by trolls. They played me. They set me up and they got me. To, they got my employer to tell me to hit the road, Jack. What happens when trolls get caught slipping? What happens when people stalk you so long that things happen where they get exposed? I wonder what happens with that. Hmm. Guess we'll see in the near future, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Wow. How about them Eagles last night? Philadelphia Eagles beat Dallas Cowboys. Were you at Apple Hill? But, um... Yeah, I know a lot of y'all going to miss me, but I it, it was time. I mean, sometimes social media gets too too fucked up. And I always said once it hits your real life, and I, I left too late, to be honest. I should have been left YouTube alone maybe a year and a half ago 
When the FBI came to my house from false reports, I should have left YouTube alone then. But me being a hard-headed, apple-headed ass, stubborn person, I didn't. So, again, y'all won the, y'all, y'all, y'all won the fight, but I'm going to win the war. So, other than that, you know, I'm I'm chilling. I hope that everybody's going to have a good holiday. Have a, I want you everybody to have a good Thanksgiving, good Christmas, you know. Be safe out there, y'all. Um, it was fun while it lasted. You know, we had a lot of fun on YouTube since 2013. We've done a lot of things. We had a lot of um, a lot of laughs. Um, a lot of crazy stuff happened on this little side of uh, YouTube. Ghetto tube or whatever the hell y'all want to call it. Exposed tube, make people lose job tube. That, 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 sh- that should be the new name. I mean, that should be the new name. And some people, they might say, well, damn, Mont- Monty seemed kind of calm for for him to lose his job. You know why I'm calm? When you have things going for yourself and you have upside and you have ambition and you have um, different ways of, of getting money, you don't let bumps in the road take you down. Now, is it a hurt piece that y'all got me to lose my job? Absolutely. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. That's a hurt piece like a motherfucker. It hurt. It hurt for a day. But see, when you have other hustles and when you have a a, a get-up-and-go style, you do what you got to do. You take it for what it is. You move on. Don't nobody like to be framed. Don't nobody like to be set up. I was set up. I was framed, and, and, and they did me dirty. My YouTube videos wasn't warranted to get me fired. There's regular roast videos. But when you manipulate videos and make it seem like a person is a terrorist and they're this bad person, sometimes jobs don't take a liking to that. And who am I to question the way a job operates their, their business? I can't question that. Nope, not at all. So, you know. It's 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 called karma, baby. It's karma. For whatever reason, God told God it was my turn to suffer. It was my turn. Now, God also told me, This is your punishment. Now, what are you gonna do about it? How are you gonna turn things around? So anybody that's going through something personal in their life and it may seem like the end of the world, take a deep breath and tell yourself it's going to be all right. And it'll be all right. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you this thing about the cut. Well, I think I got another half an hour, but I know a lot of feed about the cut off because I'm too broke to do a whole um, whole show. I don't have no money. I don't, have, I don't have no paper. So, um, if y'all listening live, I suggest y'all get on the phone line now to hear the rest of the show. I might take callers. I might not. I don't know. What you need to think about? I need to get out of my room. The light? Okay. Hold on, y'all. Turn this light on for my daughter. I said, pick your nightgown and stuff up, thing, but and um, when you stuff over there on the side, make keep your room clean, okay? If I give you a chudo chop. You ever watch our Austin Powers when they're like chudo chop? But no, let me let me go back downstairs and finish. Doing my last show ever on BTR. Guess I guess the new um I guess the Mike Mills of the world and everybody everybody's gonna run uh, BTR now. Well, congratulations, y'all! Y'all y'all made it! Y'all made it! Y'all y'all making making money! Y'all made it! 
Wood Grain Show. We pass the torch over to Mike Mills Radio, um, Chocolate Thunder Radio, L Dot Radio. All y'all, man. Y'all, I mean, I mean, I wish y'all nothing but success. I hope that y'all make tons of money, tons of money. Real talk. Ain't no hate over this way, y'all. Not at all. Not at all. Um, shout out to the person too that was making the fake Facebook page of me on Facebook. You know. Um, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad y'all hit my mom up because, well, I ain't gonna say nothing. This good, that 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 wasn't a good move on y'all part. It wasn't a good move. <laughs> but um, back what I was saying. Um, I'm you know I'm in a good mood, y'all. You know, it's, it's, uh, Eagles won. Nice brisk fall day out. I just got finished eating a nice spam sandwich for dinner. Oh man, it was I'm telling you. Listen, you get you two pieces of bread and um, you fry up a nice thick piece of spam and then you put like a little mayo, lettuce, tomatoes and the oregano on that joint. Oh I'm telling you, ain't nothing like a spam um B O T, yo. Real talk. Real talk. And then what I had on the side with that, right? I went and got me some of them um Vienna sausages in the can. Woo-wee! I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Y'all, that's good eating, man. You know, that's good eating. Straight up. Now, you know what I'm going to wash it down with? I'm going to wash it down with some tang. Tell me about that tang. I'm going to put some of that tang on there. Real talk. I need that. Oh, we got a half an hour left. Let me see. Let me. I'm walking around the house, y'all. So I ain't go to the switchboard yet. Walking around, just enjoying this last show. I didn't even tell the Wood Grain members I was having. I didn't tell nobody actually. To be honest, I was having the show. I know some people are just subscribed to the show, and I know once they're they get an email that I'm having the show that they are listen to it or download it later. So, um. Someone told me that uh, O.J. Jackson made a video, said R.I.P. Monty Wood Grant. That's right, man. Um, when y'all send me off, send me off right, man. You know, I, I put in a lot of work on YouTube. I deserve a good send off. And I'll make sure y'all have some wood grain flowers or something. You know what I mean? Give me a wood grain casket. I mean, if you're going to send me off, please send me off right. Please. Please send me off right. At least earn that. I don't that. I mean, I gave, I, I provided y'all with some of the best roast videos ever. The, the skits, the comedies, the wood grain shows we did. I mean, we had some classic shows. Oh my God. I mean, I paved the way for the Mike Mills radio and the and and and, and, the, and the grill game radios. And, you know, I, I paved the way for y'all guys, and and, and I want y'all to see. I even paved the way for TRS because you know I was doing shows before all of y'all, so I paved the way for all y'all guys and. You know, I want y'all to to keep it going, man. Keep it going. You know, I want to turn to the radio station one day on, on my in my car if I'm still lucky to have my car. If I don't have to sell it, I might have to pawn my car so I can just get food in my house. But you know, besides that, um, I want to um, I want to. Turn turn to my dial one day and just hear y'all. It's like, yo, that's real game radio. That's 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 Mike Mills radio. Like, damn. Like, oh shit. Like, like, damn. Tina Turner's still on there. Shit. Wow. Like, damn. Like, I didn't know there was a smell radio. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, whatever, man. So. Let's see, let's see. We have a private call. Let's see who's up on Oh, we actually have a couple callers. Oh, I'm surprised here. I'm shocked. Let's talk to this private caller. How you doing tonight, sir? Kiss my white ass, Muddy Woodbrain. What's up? Is this, is this my main man, Gunchu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking Gunchu. Let me, let me hear you do it, man. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
Go on, let me hear you do it. Okay, that was funny. That was funny. I had no idea this was real simple for real. <laughs> uh, I thought it was time to sell more. I set this up. <laughs> Go on, let me, let me hear you do it. My name is AKA Gonchu. Huh? Oh, I made a gun to him, man. You really lost your job? I didn't know that. This is for what? Yeah, this is man, they, they got they got me gun to man. They got real? me, man. I see. This they, is for real? These motherfuckers got me, yo. I thought, I thought it was a Stein Marsh track. A Stein Marsh record station. Wow, this shit's for real. Wow. Oh, this is real, dog. Oh, this is for real. This is real. This is real talk, man. Real? I wish it, um... <laughs> No, um, no, Asriel, this is true, man. Awesome. Like somebody just texted me, Asriel, this, uh, I wish I was lying to y'all this time. I know a lot of people think it's a joke. They think I'm playing I'm around. Playing. I'm not playing around. I don't, I don't think. I'll so, tell y'all what. Hey. Huh? You said what? Hey. I actually thought this was fake. I thought it was fake. Like Jerry Ryder from Florida. I thought this was fake. This is for real? Son of no, honestly, really... all, all joking aside, all joking aside, they really did get me fired. Honestly, they really did get me fired. Um, oh, thank God, I have a commission job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm straight, man. You know, I'm, I'm be alright regardless. You know, what I mean, it, it is what it is. It is wow. what it is, man. You know, maybe I'll go work for Tommy or something. I don't know. You know. Yeah, that's so Wow. What's your story? What's your story, man? Wow. You make a video what's talking my... about some kiss my white ass. What's up, what's up with you, man? What, what, what's going on? I'm talking about a real white ass. You see the picture? It's a real white ass. <laughs> you, you, you. Well, what, what's up with you sucking that hot dog like that? What, what, what was going on with that, man? That was a joke video. That was eating a hot dog? Yeah, so it was a like joke sucking video. it down, sucking a white man's wiener, what you said? <laughs> yeah, white man produced the wiener. Yeah, that's what he did. He produced the wiener. He sells the wiener to people in the grocery store. That's what he does. All right, let me hear the... Look, look, look. I gotta hear the the gun tool, man. That, that's a classic, y'all. <laughs> huh? You really lost your job, man. That's horrible, man. Huh? That's really horrible. But you lost your job. I can't believe they actually took your job. Wow. Yeah, they took my job, man. But you know what, man? It's it's you know what? You gotta look at it like this. When shit like that happens and people are involved, they're gonna get theirs. They're gonna wow. get theirs. You can't keep a good man down, though. That's one thing about me. I, I'll have another. I'll have another one quick. Trust me. So, I ain't worrying about it. You know, okay. just watch yourself out here. I'm telling you, man. Watch yourself out here. It's, it's crazy. It really is. Yeah. It's crazy out no, here. I, I, yeah. I thought I thought it's not, it's not true with the son more on his roasted man. That was fake. To be honest, that was fake. Cause my cousin saw Tommy saw him more on the street. He saw. He was over there hugging a black woman and shaking out a black man's hand. That's what I saw. That's what he told me. I mean, that's what he told me. I thought. Yeah, you have, you have YouTube personalities that are on YouTube that they might act a certain way on YouTube is different in, in the streets. You know, I'm one of them. You know, I'm not Monty Woodgrain in real life. It's parts of me, yeah, but, you know, I'm different in real life. But, honestly, on some real talk, um, they all got together. And I, and I know who they are. You know, I'm just, I'm just not going to say that right now. But they, um, it, it's out in the open. It, they didn't hide it. They put the stuff out in the open. I mean, they put it out here. Here's his job. Here's his, uh, um, the phone number. Here's the email address to the HR. Help me get Lamont, uh, what they say? Help me get Monty fired and fuck his Christmas up. That, that was their exact word. So. That's so. But you got to tell me, man. Like the video I just said, man, the transgender woman, I was, man, Ben's the feeling. I saw a real transgender woman that was a perfect gen. Of course, I'm not a the transgender woman, but that's the day in your city. In Philly, got a whole bunch of tried to the transgender woman. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I'm talking about the transgender woman in your city. 
Uh, hey, whatever you smoking, man. Uh, whatever you smoking, I, I need some of that, man. Right at this time, I'm gonna smoke, but right now, I need some of that. That's, that's good, man. man right. My that's name good. is AKA Gancho. Girl, let me hear it, man. That's a classic, yo. Got you. Oh, you ain't doing it right. You see, man, uh-huh. see? Damn. It's my last show. At least I can get a good gun tool, man. I can even get... Man. Damn. Oh, there you go. No. <laughs> oh, man. But, no, yeah, good looking out, man, for calling, man. You take you take care of yourself, man. Definitely take care of yourself, yeah, man. I don't need to, man. Shout out very yeah, much. Def- definitely, definitely. Take care of yourself, bro. Appreciate it. But yeah, all, all joking aside, y'all, this, this is no joke. I know a lot of people think it's a joke. They think that it says, um, think about it. Why would I? Why would I delete my channels? Now, anybody know that I've been on YouTube for a while? I'm not going to delete my channels. And these people put stuff out there if it wasn't true. Now, some of the other stuff, I'm, you know, you, you could tell I'm being sarcastic, you know. But this is this the dirty game that people play on social media. And I'm going to be serious for a little bit. The social media shit is real. And to the people that's laughing and think it's funny, you know, remember, most of y'all have kids. And it can happen to you. So remember that. Remember that, you know. Same thing happened to me, could happen to you. And the people that was involved, you know what, the the person the person said, I could sleep good at night now that Monty lost his job. Now you gotta ask yourself one question. When the person says something like that, who do you feel sorry for? Me or them? I feel sorry for them. Because if that's the highlight of your life, if that's the highlight of your life, to say you got a man fired, knowing he has kids, and you can sleep good at night, something's wrong with you upstairs. And when that karma come back around, ooh-wee, that shit going to be crazy. That shit going to be motherfucking more than smoking. So, you know, I just want to say... It was nice, you know, doing videos for some of y'all. Um, you know, Asriel, thanks for the support. I know me and Asriel had our stuff back and forth, but overall, you know, me and Asriel, cool. We still on my Facebook. We good. You know, shout out to everybody that showed love, that, you know, was on the show. Even a couple people that's on the phone line now didn't even know I was doing the show. You know, shout out to y'all, whoever you are, you know you is. Um... Shout out my man Chris from North Carolina, South Carolina. You know who he is. Um, shout out to everybody, man. I just wanted to let y'all know that um, Monty Woodgrain is done. Monty Woodgrain is, is um, as far as YouTube is is done. Um, because I can't I can't be involved with this because if I stay on YouTube, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill somebody. So it's no need for me to be on YouTube because what they did to me, <laughs> I'm be I'm, I'm gonna be thrown under the jail. Things I want to do back to them. So I just want to say um, it was nice to have fun with y'all. We had a lot of fun. Um, we did our thing. We did. It's, it's unfortunate that things turned turned to this situation. Is you know turned bad and people that don't even know me, hate my guts so much that they would do that. And that's fine. You know, um, if I made y'all happy by y'all making me lose my job, then, hey, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. I know one thing. I ain't losing no sleep over nobody. I ain't losing no sleep over no YouTube. It is what it is. I found that job. I'll find another one. Trust me. And of course, y'all motherfuckers won't know about it. <laughs> of course, y'all won't know about it. So, um, 